Hey there folks, welcome to Good Works Tractors. If you haven't checked out our website yet, make sure you visit goodworkstractors.com and also take a second and subscribe below to our YouTube channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at a John Deere 1 Series material collection system. It's a three bin bagger with a power flow and I'll go ahead and just do a quick overview on what this is all about here. So if you're in the market for one, you have an idea of uh, exactly what you're looking for. So we'll start down here with what's called the power flow. And that's gonna be this section right here. It says John Deere on it, this whole boot right here. Okay, there's a, a fan that spins around in here. Um, it's gonna be mounted right to your deck, okay? And there's gonna be a, a belt that's right here that you can see, right there. Okay, it's gonna be a, a double pulley that's gonna go on top of your spindle, your deck spindle, uh, underneath this cover here and the, uh, the drive over step. And that's going to be what drives the fan that's in here, okay? And then that fan essentially is going to blow the leaves and grass clippings up the chute, all right? And then into the, the bagger. So take a quick look at the chute here, uh, just so you can see its uh, configuration. And this is going to be a, an airflow monitor. So essentially, you can have a visual indicator there if the chute is plugged up from too much material. Uh, if it's clogged it because maybe it's damp or wet, or perhaps the bags are actually full and it's time to unload. So after everything moves up from the uh, power flow up the chute and into the bagger system there, you'll see here, we'll take a, a look underneath here and there's gonna be a simple lever. Uh, you can see this handle right here. You're gonna go ahead and pop it and it's gonna raise this whole thing up spring loaded or piston loaded, I should say. You have a piston here uh, to take care of that. And so this is the other end of the chute. You can see it sticks into the the um, bagger system there quite a, a ways. And then it's just gonna feed everything down into one of these, these bags here, okay? And so these bags, very simply, they come out just like that. They're just gonna rest right on the groove that's in there and they stay in place with the lid down. And then uh, we'll go ahead and turn this over. You can see, so when they're full, they can get fairly heavy. Uh, you can kind of dump it on its side a little bit, but there's this handle, which is uh, quite a sturdy handle. I have yet to ever have one rip off. So you can use that to kind of shake the bag out and then uh, simply pick it up and put it right back in place. Okay. So, and then to, to close, simply take it, you know, close it firmly to make sure it latches shut there. All right. So this is going to utilize its own bracket here. It's going to mount right onto this piece here is generally standard on your on your uh, one series tractor whether it's a 1025r 1026r 1023e okay you can see the bolt setter bolted right on there it gives it a frame these are quick releases right here that'll allow you to take the uh, the collection system off and then for stability purposes here the top link is actually pinned right in you can see right here as well okay that just helps with rigidity there. So the lower arms are not used at all. Uh, this side is not in the way. Let's take a look at the other side here. It might be beneficial to remove that arm. You can see there, it maybe fits in the way, but uh, if it's full, if this bag is full on, I can see this wearing on here and you know perhaps eventually wearing a hole in there. So it might be beneficial just to pop this arm off, which is just a pin up top here, and then uh, down below a couple of them. So it wouldn't take more than a minute or two to accomplish that. So anyway, this is an overview of a material collection system, a three bin bagger uh, with a power flow for a John Deere one series tractor. Now that being said, the two series tractors and the X series tractors uh, are gonna be very similar in setup. Uh, make sure you're buying the power flow and uh, the bracketry for the correct series though because they are not interchangeable. Okay, so these parts here that are gonna connect to the backside of the tractor and then down here, this power flow boot. They're going to be sized differently for each each deck configuration that there is and there are many decks out there so again uh, thanks for watching please visit goodworkstractors.com and go ahead and subscribe below have a great day